Hey sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Bethany. Here on my channel you can find all things homemaking. Today's video is a brand new Sunday reset for you. I'm going to go ahead and reset some of the spaces in my home to make my week this week much more productive. We have quite a few things going on this week, so I'm just resetting some spaces to help my week not be so busy. So I hope today's video will give you some motivation and inspiration. I would like to say happy Sunday. I hope you guys have a wonderful start to your week. So one thing you're not going to see in today's video is any cleaning or anything in the kitchen or living room because we are still in the process of doing some updates in those areas and I'm just not ready to share those areas until I can put the video out for you guys because it is a simple change but a huge change for us and I'm just so excited to be able to share that with you guys so I'm hoping to have that up sometime this week if not this week by the you know sometime beginning of next week but i'm just so excited to share it with you guys and it's just been such a fun process but it's also been a long process just because we have kids and with my husband working and trying to find time to do it all in between we're doing little steps at a time but either way we're getting it done i'm just so excited to share that with you but i wanted to let you know that's why you guys won't see any kitchen cleaning or living room cleaning today is because of that reason but i am just so excited to share but i have lots of laundry to fold so i'm going to start folding some of these towels while all the beddings are washing and just getting these done and out of the way i don't usually fold clothes back here because there's not a lot of space on the washer and dryer but i will usually fold some towels back here from time to time so i'm going to go ahead and get all these folded and get ready to get these put away sometimes we're crashing down but we get up and start from the ground I 
will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down So I have a good question for all you moms out there. How do you get rid of kids' toys and not feel bad about it? I really want to go through and declutter a lot more of my kids' toys just because there's some items that they don't play with or they have so much of that they just dump out the bins everywhere to find one item. And I mean, I know that's kind of part of like the bin system, that's what happens, but that was like, I figured this would be better than a toy box and it definitely is, but I'm just trying to like minimalize things they have because they just don't play with a lot of it, but I also have that guilt of getting rid of it because maybe somebody who bought it means a lot to me or, you know, I just see like, I just see dollar signs and like people's thoughts behind getting the kids the gift you know just like going away and I guess it makes me sad so I'm just wondering how you guys go about that like how do you kind of deal with that because I have decluttered a lot but you know there's just some toys in here that they just really don't play with like they really don't use the sit and spin a lot and the basketball hoop they don't use as much and they might use it more when they get older but I don't know it's just there's some things they just don't play with as much and same with my daughter so I just figured I'd come on here and ask I know one of you has got to have a good um, suggestion for me or many of you have a good suggestion so let me know down in the comments how you guys have done it in the past or um, things like that I would like to do toy rotation but we just don't have the storage for a lot of toy rotation like we have very minimal storage in our closets and um, underneath the beds and things so that was a long drawn out question but I'm just curious if you guys could let me know I'm gonna go ahead and clean up both of their bedrooms and get their beds put back together the best I can depending on what is it still in the wash or not but I'm gonna go ahead and get their rooms nice and tidy
Speaking of the decluttering journey, if you've been here for a while, you've definitely seen me make my bed many of times, but usually over by the window there's a bench with a bunch of plants on it, and that is one thing that I have decluttered. I've gotten rid of the bench and a couple of the plants on there and just kind of consolidated down to the plants that I really truly love and um, moved them to a different place just to open up our bedroom a little bit and give me some more walking space over there. So that's just one thing. I'm like, there's just too much clutter and I'm ready to simplify everything. So that's one thing I've been doing is just slowly trying to get rid of some things that either are just collecting other items or that we don't use a lot. If we haven't touched it in six months to a year, you know, we'll look at it, be like, do we really need this? And if we don't, um, either sell it or donate it. One of those two, but I am just trying to make things more simplified and still have our home be cozy, but just not fully minimalist, but also not holding on to things that just aren't necessary for us. My tattoos is a remedy, a remedy, a remedy. to the good days here's to the sorrows if this is a mistake i know about tomorrow i don't want to fight no more because i don't feel the need no more no just want to make it stop maybe it's something in the water or maybe we just hit the end of the road right now it doesn't even matter it's too late to let it go and that's why i wish you the best and say goodbye you start to get dressed and then we cry cause we both know it's gonna hurt but not as much as this does we had a good run don't 
don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one Cheers to all the memories The venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget I also wanted to take a minute and share with you guys a cool new recipe that I started making for my kids. My kids love chocolate milk and I wanted to start making homemade Nest Quick Powder so I'm just not buying it from the store and I know exactly what is in it. So you're going to need a one cup measuring cup and a third cup measuring cup. You're going to go ahead and need some sugar. You're going to need a little bit of salt a jar or a container to put your mixture in and then you're going to need cocoa powder you can get any kind of cocoa powder i just got this organic cocoa um, that's the one that i found at the store so that's what i'm going to get so you're going to go ahead and put one and one thirds cup of sugar into your bowl and then once you get the sugar in there you're going to go ahead and put two thirds cup of cocoa powder so i just went ahead and filled up my one third cup twice and dumped that in and then you're going to sprinkle about a half a teaspoon to a fourth a teaspoon of salt in there don't need much salt at all give it a good whisk mixing it all together making sure all that cocoa powder and sugar are getting nice and combined and mixed together you're not seeing much color difference and you can see it lighten up here from the sugar just making sure that it's all mixed together really well you can go ahead and pour that into your jar or your container that you have and then just put you know however many tablespoons you like depending on how chocolatey you like your chocolate milk into your drink and you have homemade chocolate milk and homemade nest quick powder so i'm just putting mine in this mason jar i'm going to go ahead and use one of my four jar lids to um, seal it up and this is just going to go ahead and sit on my pantry shelf and i'm just excited about this it's so fun to make little recipes like this and it's just little things like this that just make me happy and are just part of the homemaking that i like to do and so i figured maybe you, one of you mamas would like this too so i would share it I do just want to say thank you so, so much for watching. It means the world to me. If you're in need of prayer, leave it down in the comments. I would love to say a prayer for you. Until I see you in the next one, I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye, y'all.